Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Des and today I'm going to demonstrate how you can see your future in Greek coffee. In the first part of this video, I demonstrate how you make Greek coffee and then I go about explaining to you what I see in my own teacup. I explain certain symbols and what they mean in my own teacup and this is by no means an in-depth guide on how to read Flizani or Greek teacups. Um, this is just an example. I show you what mine means. Maybe you'll find similar symbols in your coffee. Maybe you won't. If you would like to see more videos on this subject, um, you can comment below, leave a like, subscribe, you know, the usual. This has been something that we have done in my family for generations. I learned from my grandmother and I truly believe that the Flidani or the Greek teacup shows some things about your future. Um, I have had a lot, a lot of successful readings where everything, everything has happened. So uh, feel free to watch and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. So in a very small saucepan or whatever you would call that, I'm not sure what the word for it is in English, but it's a very small saucepan. You would put in just enough water that fits in the teacup and one teaspoon of coffee and wait for it to boil. Um, you mix it with your spoon, you put it on high heat and you wait for it to, it will sort of like create like a foam on the top as you can see in the video and then it will start foaming up and boiling up. You wanna be careful, it will happen quickly. So at this point, before it boils all the way to the top, you take it off the heat and then you pour it into the cup. The, the foam here, on the top of the coffee is how you know you actually did a good job. As you can see at the very top of my teacup there, there's a nice layer of foam and that's how you know you did this correctly. So again, this is just water and great coffee. Then after you've finished drinking it, uh, you want to leave a little bit of liquid on the bottom so that you can turn it. Um, you don't want it too liquidy, but you don't want it too dark either. And then you start turning, 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 mixing in the coffee with the water. And then you uh, turn it into a sink or into a bowl, wherever you want to turn it. Um, there are dishes in my sink, excuse me. And you, um, you turn it just as I demonstrate in the video. And uh, you try and get all the sides covered, but don't be too meticulous about it. Just let it go out naturally. And then you let it strain until it's dry. This might take five minutes. So what you want to do is you want to start from the handle. So I'm going to use a toothpick to point things out here because I'm using my phone to film. So you start off from the handle. From the handle going this way. These are things that are going to happen now, soon. Um, and then as you go farther away from the handle, that's how far away um, you're reading. Right by the handle here, we're seeing um, somebody is going to be sick. So this this curve here, right? Um, these curves usually mean that someone's going to get sick. Maybe they're going to have a health scare. Now, this is the head of the curve. As you see, there's a head with the curve. Because it's pointed upwards, the person who this is concerning is going to be fine. So they're going to get sick, have a little health scare, but they're going to be fine. The head is upright. If the head, if there's a head shape with this curve, if it's flat, um, that usually predicts a, a death in the family or um, someone with a terminal illness. Sorry to start this off um, badly. These things tend to usually be very dark like this. So this is a very thick, dark line. Um, so it's it's something negative, but this person's going to be fine, whoever this is. Um, now here, so this pattern here um, can mean a gathering. Um, but this is going to be a gathering of people that are unhappy. So as you see, um, this is dark again, and there are. This is the the symbol that that something negative is going to happen. And here, this shape here, it's sort of what is this? Is that a trapezoid? No, it's not a trapezoid. God, I forgot geometry. This shape here, um, with so, sort of some lines inside, means a gathering of people. So um, this might be. Um, in Greek, we say mnemosyno, which means someone has died and um, the people are gathering maybe a funeral or the 40 days after someone has died. 
Um, so in Greece, 40 days after someone has died, you go to dinner to remember them. Um, there's a service at church, all sorts of things. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, I tend to read close to the rim. Now you can go further down, but further down gets a little murky because further down you're reading what might happen, the path you're on, but it's not sure. So um, the things that are further up are more positive. They're, they're going to happen for sure. Now we're going a little bit farther away. So um, here, there are two figures. There's a feminine figure here. Um, now we've been reading for generations and my grandmother basically sees something like this as a feminine figure. So just a head sort of with a very a slender sort of body. And this is a masculine figure. So there's a masculine figure and a feminine figure here. This is the masculine figure and the feminine figure and they're closed off. So they're not open to the rim. Now, if this line, if this line wasn't here, um, it would be open. And that would mean positive relationships, positive energy in your relationship, um, a good marriage, um, you know, that might predict engagement, marriage, um, good things that have to do with a female-male relationship. Now, because this is closed off, um, now in my case, since this is my cup, I'm married. So because this is closed off, there might be a quarrel between me and my husband. There might be a disagreement. Um, there's a there's a face-off sort of going on here. So um, then that's something that happens quite often, actually. <laughs> so um, there's a face-off that's going to happen soon. Um, and now as we get further down, this line here, because it's very thick and dark, it's it's indicative of bad news. Let me focus. It's indicative of bad news, and there's a lot of weight under it. So this... If it was just the line that was thick, it would be bad news concerning someone else. Um, maybe I would get a phone call and say, I don't know, someone's grandma has died, but it's not my grandma. It's not um, something very personal to me. But because there's this weight under it, um, I'm going to get bad news that will affect me in some way, shape or form. Um, it will bother me. I will become upset by this news. Um, so unfortunately that's what I'm seeing in my cup here. So as we go further down, yeah, this isn't a very happy cup today. Um, as we go further down, um, these, when you see circles like this, so when they're in the white, when they're white circles surrounded by coffee, it's things that you want to get, but can't. Um, so maybe I will, as I get further down, I will want to buy something. I will want to make improvements maybe to my house. My child is playing and making noise. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, but I will, I will be unable to get it. Now, when it's dark circles open to the rim, it's things that you will buy and successfully get. Um, but I'm seeing that I'm not going to make some purchases that I want or need, and I won't be able to. As we get further down, this is a road. So hold on, let me, where's my toothpick? This is a road, right? It's obvious. It looks like a road. It's open to the rim. It's not closed off. There are some um, obstacles here right because it's not fully open but there is a road so maybe and it's not far away the wider it is the farther away it will be so maybe i will go somewhere an hour away maybe we'll take a trip to the nearest city with my husband and my child um it's a it's somewhere close by within two hours away not by plane um maybe by car um but we're gonna go somewhere there are some obstacles here maybe we're gonna want to find a babysitter maybe it's a trip that we need to take for whatever reason, it's going to be something that um, it's not going to be like a trip out of nowhere. Hey, let's go on a trip just for happiness. It's going to be some, some reason behind this trip and there's some obstacles to it. As we get further along, now, as we get further along here, um, when you see two rings like this together and surrounded, so it's the white hole, there are white holes within black. Um, so the difference here is that there are here. I told you that these rings mean things I want to buy here. It's two rings parallel to each other. This means your rings. So, I mean, physically your rings, meaning your, your ring with your husband, this indicates your marriage. So my marriage right now is together. Um, they're touching. So everything is good. Um, this indicates positive improvements in my marriage. Um, a development in our relationship. Maybe we'll come closer somehow. Um, maybe we'll take a date. Maybe we'll go out. Maybe we'll have a good time. Um, so that is positive here. Now, if there's a figure in between or something negative, I'm not seeing anything negative here. Um, that would indicate something negative, but 
Um, my rings are good, they're together, they're parallel to each other, everything's great here. Now, further along, now this, this is not good. I'm not having a good <laughs> teacup. So this is similar, as you, I don't know if you can tell, this person, right, this is the same kind of figure here. This person has the head up, right, so sickness that will get better. This was the first thing that we read close to the handle. This person is a similar is a similar pattern, but this head is flat. So we're going to hear of a death. Now, I'm close to the end, so this is within a year. Um, so I'm going to hear of a death. Now, because it's thin, it's not very personal. Um, and I'm not going to say I already have ideas of who it might be. We have some elderly people on my husband's side of the family. Um, but there is going to be a death within the year. Um, so that is that there's a difference here this is the head and it's flat and this is the head that's upright so this person will get better this person's going to kick the bucket sorry <laughs> sorry and um so um yeah here we're done we're at the end of the cup so um the last thing you do is you look down to, into the heart of the cup and um when you see that it's clear meaning there's no this is not clear. There's a there's a pattern here. When it's clear, it means your heart is free and happy and um, you have pos positive energy and positive developments in your life. Here, I have some kind of weight, some heaviness, um, but it's to the side. It's slightly to the side. So that means that it's it's going to take some work, but it'll go away. The darker it is, the worse it is. The more to the side it is, the faster it will go away. This is not really too far to the side. So maybe I will have to deal with something. But um, it's also not very heavy. So it's just some light grief, whatever has been bothering me. I have some ideas about what it is, obviously, because this is my cup. But um, yeah, so this is how you read a cup. Um, the, the more people you ask, um, the more Greek people you ask to read a cup, the different interpretations you'll get. But this is how we've been reading in my family. My grandma learned from her mother. Her mother learned from her mother. We took this practice from Turkey when my ancestors were kicked out of Turkey and moved to Greece. So um, this is how we've been reading. Uh, my grandma's actually very good at this, and I learned from my grandmother. My grandmother, if she reads your cop, she will tell you everything. So that's it. Uh, I hope you like this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, give a like, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you want more videos like this, just let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.